Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pragati Singh and uh, I have qualified UGC NET JRF in management and uh, UGC NET in the uh, subject human resource management or labor welfare. So as promised I am back with another video. First of all I would like to extend a vote of thanks to all my viewers for giving so much love and support on the very first video. Thank you all. So what I will be sharing today? First of all, I will be sharing the process to apply at IIT Delhi. Then I will be sharing the detailed interview experience and then one last slide will be related to a little bit of Gyan. So the process for applying at IIT Delhi for the PhD program is it uh, starts for the summer session in the month of March. The application started from 14th May 2023 and the last date was 6th April 2023. The basic eligibility criteria is that the candidate should have uh, qualified either UGC NET or UGC NET JRF. So the uh, institute does not uh, conduct its own entrance exam. Uh, for applying at IIT Delhi and in almost all the IITs, you must be qualified UGC NET or UGC NET JRF in your uh, subject. I have, I have applied in the Department of Management Studies and in, in the DMS department, basically the students who have qualified the UGC NET exam in the Commerce subject, Management subject or HRM subject or any other subject like uh, Psychology or Social Work which can be directly or indirectly related to the HR. Uh, they can apply in the DMS department. So if I talk about the requirements uh, that were required to be uploaded, uh, apart from the general things that are filled and the general documents that are uploaded, SOP was required and an abstract was required. SOP is a statement of purpose. A statement of uh, purpose uh, is basically a document, it is a one page document in which the student has to describe his interest, why he is interested in the subject and uh, how he developed the interest in research and uh, what motivates to him to do PhD, uh, that is uh, you have to answer the question why PhD and why that particular institute. So you have to basically answer these questions and mention in the statement of purpose. Uh, the second document was abstract. Abstract is uh, basically, uh, it can be said, uh, uh, summary of the research proposal and it should also not uh, exceed two pages. So, two pages maximum and it is the summary of the research proposal. And then I received the interview mail on 21st April and it mentioned that uh, on 16th May, three things were to be conducted. First was written test and then document verification and interview. So in the prospectus, nothing was mentioned about the written test. I also came to know about it uh, when I received the mail and I'll be talking about it in detail in the further slides. And then on 30th May, I received the offer letter. And uh, the final uh, selected students, their list was uh, uploaded on the website uh, two, three days before I received the offer letter. So before proceeding, I like to give a tip. The tip is regarding the abstract or uh, we can say the research proposal. Though only the abstract was required to be uploaded and also during the interview, they didn't ask for research proposal, neither they asked for any PPT or uh, something. But I will, uh, I will suggest you that you should have uh, prepared the detailed research proposal because uh, uh, when you prepare the detailed research proposal uh, discussing each and everything, then only you will have the deep knowledge about uh, the study that you want to conduct and uh, that will be helpful for you during the interview. So now I will talk about the written test. Uh, so in the offer letter and on the DMS IIT Delhi website, the only information that was uh, given about the written test was that it will be of one hour and it will be of descriptive nature. So we didn't had any clue whether the questions will be related to research or the questions will be related to the specific uh, subjects or it will be related to all the subjects. It was divided into two parts. Part A was compulsory and there was one general question uh, just that uh, write a short note on any one recent trend in your subject. And then there was part B 
in which one question was to be attempted and uh, there were three questions from each subject so three questions were there from hrm finance and marketing entrepreneurship strategy management and economics three questions were there from each of the subject and the student had to attempt any one any one the student had the discretion to attempt uh, the question from any of the subjects but uh, i'll suggest is that uh, you should attempt the question from your specific subject only in which you want to do the research because if you are attempting the question from some other subject then the interviewer will definitely ask that uh, why you have attempted in different subject so after one hour the uh, the written test paper was uh, collected and the document verification was done uh, we were required to take all the original documents uh, starting from class 10 to the post graduation mark sheet and uh, degree and UGC net certificate jrf certificate then uh, i'll talk about interview so if uh, you ask that how many number of students were there at the interview so a total of 320 students were called on uh, 16 but uh, i think around uh, 200 to 250 students attended the interview so 200 to 220 they were related to all the subjects uh, all the sub subjects of the management like finance marketing and uh, hrob and in my particular subject area that is human resource management and ob i think a total of 50 uh, 50 to 55 students were there who took the interview the faculty of the respective subjects they take the interview so in my uh, in my subject there were three faculties they took the interview if you ask about the panel size so panel size uh, depends on how many teachers how many faculty are there related to that particular subject so it could differ from one to four or five even specifically if i talk about the hr area there were two rounds of interview and in all the other subjects only one round of interview happened so it can happen that uh, there are two uh, more than one rounds of interview so one should be prepared for that and one should not panic at that time now we come to interview questions that were actually asked from me uh, during the interview so in the first round in the hr and the ob subjects uh, two faculties were there but uh, during my time uh, ma'am had to do some work i think so only one sir was there who took my interview of the first round so as we basically uh, we prepare for the introduction and we expect that the uh, interviewer will ask to give the introduction but it did not happen and he did not ask for any introduction or something like that uh, the first question was that he saw the form that i had filled so he asked that i did do a specialization uh, so i said yes sir then he asked the name of the subjects that are related to the hr that i have studied in mba then he asked about the topic then specifically tell the topic so i told the topic and in the topic itself i have used the word serial mediation so he asked serial mediation what is it then he said okay let's first draw the model what does drawing the model means is that what is the independent variable what is the dependent variable and what is the, the first mediator and then the second mediator so I, I have used two mediators in between and there was one independent variable and there was one dependent variable so he asked what is the difference between mediation and moderation then he asked what is serial mediation uh, why serial mediation because mediation is of two types serial and parallel so why particularly you are using serial mediation I was able to answer all these questions because I have studied this and I was expecting questions from this particular uh, topic that is mediation so I have studied and I was able to answer. Then he, used, then he asked that uh, what are the data analysis techniques that you will be using. So I told the techniques and I said that I will be using correlation, regression and uh, SPSS based process macro. So, ne so the next question comes that what is phase process macro i have studied this i answered this then he said that do you know how to run sp sorry mediation analysis in spss uh, so i said that i don't know because i actually don't know and i said that yes but i have learned through watching youtube videos and that i told him then he asked that uh, the sample size 
so i told him a number he asked how did you arrive on this number so i told that in the old researches uh, in the quantitative research in the old research uh, uh, 100 or more has been suggested but in those research a uh, different software has been used which is smart pls so i think this number can be taken so then the next question comes uh, linking the previous thing that what is a smart pls so i told him what is a smart pls i will study that also then he asked uh, pls full form i answered that then he asked that uh, how the clean human resource management practices leads to job satisfaction uh my independent variable was ghrm practices and the first mediator was job satisfaction so this is the reason why he asked this question so i gave him a general explanation uh, which could be the possible explanation and i also added that the previous researchers conclude that ghrm practices leads to job satisfaction so this can be taken then he asked that is this relationship true for all employees so i told him that no because uh, uh, there are many aspects of job satisfaction and the employees may be motivated due to different the employees may be satisfied due to different reasons so then he asked what are the theories that could support this relationship so i have studied the theories i uh, told him about two theories uh, one name i remembered that time so i told the name and then i explained it then the second theory i could not remember the name at that time so i said that sir i remember the concept of the theory but i don't remember the name so i explained the concept only so he partially agreed uh, to that thing not completely then he said that uh, you are assuming few things what those can be so there was like a 3 4 minutes discussion on the basis of which he said that you are assuming few things so i said yes i am assuming uh, i could be assuming few things so and i told that because i am more of such a person who is concerned about the environment so i may be assuming that all the employees or all the people like that are like that only then the next question he asked is that who will be the respondents so i have mentioned in the abstract that psu employees will be the respondents he asked why psu employees so i answered that that uh, because uh, the psus are government enterprises so they they show that they are practicing the ghrm practices so he said that have you heard of common method variance so i have read about it when i was reading reading the research uh, paper so i was able to answer this question also so he asked have you considered this uh means he was asking that if i have considered the common method variance or not so i said yes i am considering this that is why i am collecting the data from uh, different categories of employees from all the levels of management then he has heard of green washing then i was able to answer this also mm, then he asked, uh basically green washing means that uh, uh, the company is only Uh, practicing the environment friendly activities on papers only and is it not genuinely concerned about the environment so he asked how can you judge if a company is genuinely concerned about the environment so this question at that particular time i was not able to answer so i said that uh, sorry sir i don't know right now uh, i will have to read more to know about this uh, problem then the next question was related to virtual workplaces why virtual workplaces because uh, in the written test uh, in the written test in the part b i have answered the question that was related to virtual workplaces and how it is beneficial and what are the possible demerits of it so that is why he asked that how can you relate virtual workplaces with ghrm so i said that uh, virtual workplaces is beneficial for the environment because uh, like paperwork is reduced and all these things So he said that are you sure that the virtual workplaces are beneficial for the environment, and what about the other cause? So it was like a discussion, and he partially agreed with me, and I was, I said that I was not able to answer this particular question completely. So yes, this was all about the first round, all that I could remember. This was all about the first round, and it went good. I was satisfied. I was happy. then after all the candidates were interviewed in the first round 
uh, after a few time that the results came for the second round and uh, out of uh, 50 to 55 students 11 were selected for the second round so in the second round uh, uh, three faculties all the three faculties were there and uh, similar questions were asked which were asked in the first round that the particular sir who has uh, taken the first round interview he didn't ask any question uh, two female faculties they asked the questions so similar questions were asked related to the theories and related to the data analysis technique and all then few different things which were asked were like uh, ma'am asked that are you restricted to ghrm topic only because uh, many students i think uh, four students came with the same topic with the same broad concept uh, green human resource management so he, she asked that if i am restricted so i said no ma'am i am flexible and i would be happy if the topic can be connected to G ghrm but i am flexible then she asked that uh, some other theory i am comfortable answering about uh, so i said that uh, you can ask about any motivation theory so she asked about the self determination theory i answered whatever i remembered at that particular time then she asked that how the self determined goals motivate intrinsically then she asked about theory x and theory y and uh, so and i answered what i remembered uh, i was not able to answer in a very good way to the motivation theories but yes i remembered two things and i answered that so this was all about the second round as i said that one slide will be related to gyan so today's gyan is that luck may betray you but hard work never will and fortune favors the prepared mind so one thing i would advise is that be prepared give your 100% uh, because as it is written that luck may betray you you cannot always depend upon the luck that uh, uh, because of luck you will succeed but uh, you can depend on the hard work that you have done so this is all thank you for sparing time and listening to the full video चलो बस हो गए आज के लिए इतना ही काफ़ी है ओके बाय